Hi, this is Viper01. Uh, this is going to be the first in my trucking videos. Uh, I'm not actually going to be showing you any trucking today. I figured I'd start off with uh, something that all truckers hate, and that is paperwork. All right. So this, as you can see, is our vehicle inspection report, and uh, I'm kind of holding the camera kind of funny here on the tripod, so forgive me if uh, if this kind of gets screwed up a little bit. Now our inspection report is one of the most important documents in the vehicle, aside from our uh, driver's daily log. This one here happens to be a carbon paper version. Your carbon paper, of course, everybody knows what carbon paper is. This side has is, is the uh, printing surface, this side's just the hard, uh, the non-printing surface. surface. It's in the back of the book. See here where it's been torn out. Some logbooks will be different than this. You may have a combination book, but the carbon paper goes between the yellow copy, which is your copy, okay, and the white copy, which is the company copy. You usually hand in the company copy once a week. You'll hand in uh, all five of them or however many you've done. Okay, so our inspection report starts off with our company name and address up at the top here. You can use shorthand for that. Uh, for example, if you have Great Northern Road, you don't have to write Great Northern Road, just G-R-E-T-N-R-D. Shorten it down. Makes life easier. Okay, we have a pre-trip, post-trip. Uh, most of the time you'll be doing a pre-trip. It is a good idea to do a post-trip if you are dropping a trailer or getting rid of a truck. Uh, so you're handing off a truck to another driver, you want to do a post-trip on that quick. Um, that way if the other driver screws up, doesn't do their book properly, um, and say something goes wrong, you can go back and, and look at your book and say uh, to your boss, well it wasn't me, because I did a post-trip and there's no problems. So that must have happened when that other guy grabbed it. Odometer reading, you want to get that right off the bat. Uh, before you do any driving at all, you want to get your odometer down. You want to get your time of the inspection, circle AM or PM. I don't necessarily realize if that's clear or not for you guys. I hope it is. Your date of the inspection, you want to make sure you fill out the date. Always use the format day, month, year. Do never, never use the format month, day, year. I know some people get into that habit, but it is, it is wrong. Um, as you'll see in the other book, which actually specifies day, month, year. Our vehicle make whether it's a Mac, Freightliner, whatever, you don't have to put in Freightliner Century or whatever. You just put down just put down Mac or Freightliner, whatever make model your truck happens to be. Your truck license plate number, or your tractor license plate number, I should say. Jurisdiction, which means where's the license plate from? Okay? If uh, if the truck's license plate is an Ontario plate, doesn't matter if you're from France, you put down jurisdiction of Ontario. Your trailer license number, same thing. Put your trailer license down, it's jurisdiction. It will not be the same as your as your truck most times. Most times your truck and your trailer will have different jurisdictions. Your jurisdiction for your trailer may be uh, Alberta. You never know. So you got to mark that down. If you're running a train, you'll have a second trailer. Put down its license plate and jurisdiction. If you have no defects, there's usually a checkbox for that. You just check, no defects found. If you were doing the inspecting, you would s sign your name here, or I should say print your name, where it says inspector slash driver's name print, inspector slash driver's signature, you'd sign. Um, if the mechanic's done the inspection, he'll put his name, his signature, and then over here, you'll sign here. It's a driver's signature, if different from inspector. Now, if you do happen to have defects, there's a nice big chart here for you to fill out. You notice here there's a D. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a D and an R. D is the driver category, R is the repairer category, so you only want to mark the D if there's something wrong. Uh, for example, uh, parking brake, something wrong with the parking brake, you put a check mark beside the D saying there's a parking brake problem. Okay? Tires, if there's a tire problem, put a check mark beside the D under tires. Now, not everything you mark here will take your truck out of service. A lot of things will, actually most things will. Uh, you want to kind of be anal about what you actually drive with broken. Um, but for example, glass. There's a mark right here for glass. 
if you have say uh, a chip down on the lower left corner of your, of your, uh, your windshield it's not impeding your vision at all uh, it's down out of the way you don't even notice it when you're driving but you did see it during your inspection you'll still put a check mark on glass and you write down under the remarks chip in glass lower left window okay or lower left driver side and then if it does not impede the safety of the vehicle you'll put a check mark here where it says above defects need not be corrected for safe operation of the vehicle okay now in, an, in the other case if there is a ding in the glass a chip in the glass and it happens to be right in front of you you know you can't drive like that that's illegal okay you'll mark that you'll make the remark uh, um, chip and driver side window uh, unsafe to drive and then you'll hand it to the uh, the boss. You'll call the boss first, tell him that there's a problem, tell him you did an inspection, you found a ding in the glass right in front of the drivers, you can't drive, you have to take the truck out of service, and blammo. Uh, they'll usually have you take it over to a mechanic uh, or have a mechanic come and, and whatnot. Uh, you shouldn't really take it over to the mechanic because once again you're driving an unsafe vehicle but uh, usually the mechanic will come out and check it and, and do whatever they need to do. Okay, so and then once it's repaired the repairer will check mark the repair column. So you have a check mark in the glass, there's a problem with the glass, you check that. They repair the glass, they check that. They'll check down here above defects are repaired and they'll repair, the repairer will sign and date and then you'll check it over make sure everything's okay you'll sign and date okay you don't sign or date down here as far as I know unless there's been repairs your signatures up here are good enough okay because that's where your declaration is I declare that the vehicle shown above has been inspected yada 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 and your signatures here these signatures down here are just if repairs needed done it's just you confirming that the repairs have been done and uh, so it's it's basically you're covering the repairer's ass and your own ass at the same time and that's pretty much it for an inspection report once again you have to do one of these every 24 hours or whenever something on your vehicle changes uh, for example if you drop a trailer pick up a new trailer you do have to do a new inspection report because your trailer is now invalid your trailer entry so even though your trucks the same your trailers now changed so you have to do a, a new inspection report with the new trailer you still gotta inspect the truck well you don't you don't have to inspect the truck it's a good idea to do a really quick inspection of the truck um, but you do have to inspect that trailer do a pre-trip on it check its lights check its tires check all the airlines make sure they're okay the airbags uh, if it's got air ride um, you want to check the shocks you know make sure there's no uh, no gaps in between your rims make sure your valve stems captain centered all that good stuff uh, so you definitely want to check over your trailer and do an inspection report on that and that covers our daily vehicle inspection report okay so have a good day and uh, the next video will be on our drivers daily log I'll probably do that right away uh, so take care and I'll see you then